Hello, how are you? This is going to be for my Virgos, and this is going to be for the week from the 20th to the 26th of November. I will be using my The Art of Adventure Tarot and this is what they look like. So Virgo, this is going to be for you. So Virgo, this is for you. The Five of Swords. Conflict. The King of Swords. Something became very clear to you. The Lovers. Past energy, current energy, two of cups, unified love, mm -hmm. the knight of wands, you needing a little adventure or did you just come off of an adventure? <laughs> you just came off of an adventure and you want to go back on an adventure. Oh, the f <laughs> we get the six of um, wands here. So you, you went on some kind of adventure and you came back. And you got some kind of message. Some kind of news. Oh, Ace of Cups, new love. Two of Wands, dreaming, thinking, ready to go on a vacation. And the Ten of Wands, you got a little extra responsibility there, but you're carrying it, you know. It's a little struggle, like you got a lot going on. So to clarify, I will use my Cosmic Tarot deck. I'll use this one. And we will clarify. So let's clarify the five swords. Oh, maybe they wanted me to use the other one. Let's see if it happens again. I'll change back to the other one. conflict was from with someone from the past the seven of cups it was an emotional conflict could have been physical too from past love something to do with the past the conflict then things turned around and there was positivity and calm and a whole bunch of beautiful stuff in your life that's the sun 
And then as soon as that came, you felt like you're in your head a lot. The Eight of Cups. Feel like you're empty, like you don't have, you know? Well, when you're in a conflict with someone, that's normal to feel that way. So let's see if it's the King of Swords you're in conflict with, um, Virgo. King of Swords is about action. Something was made very clear to you. He's masculine. You know, it's masculine. But it also could be an air sign, which would be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Let's see, what did this air sign made you clear about? Or what did you get clarity about? Something, some kind of clear um, communication. Whatever it was, you went within yourself, the hermit, which is not bad to go inside, okay? And something ended, and this is a new beginning. This doesn't always mean something bad, okay? It just means something ended and there's a new beginning ahead of you. And that's for sure. There is a new beginning. Something crumbled and it just fell apart. That's the tower. Hmm. Next card was the lovers. you all have a very big argument that changed your perspective so the lovers ten of pentacles you're balanced firm financially however you feel like you've been deceived and you were lied to and right now you're within yourself and it's about this love. It balances you, but it made you sad. Then the Ace of Pentacles. Oh. Financially stable. So no matter what, I mean, finances seem well. So that's the past energy there, okay? That's leading up to what's going on now. So let's see the two cups, unified love. Hmm. Princess of cups. It's going within yourself, using your intuition. You might have just figured out that you saw this coming the whole while. Or maybe you're hoping you're desiring love after what happened here. And you went within and you found your strength. Or you're finding your strength. And your cup is going to overflow again, darling. New love is on the horizon. It's coming. It's coming. I got the Ace of Cups here and I got the Ace of Cups down here. I don't know when it's going to come. Like time, you know, but it's coming. <coughs> Excuse me. The Knight of Wands. Don't act too impulsive, though, okay? Don't jump at the first thing that comes. All right, let's see here. Yeah, might go on some adventure. Ooh, it's going to be but love. Love is coming your way. Love is coming your way. However, you have an, un an unhealthy attachment to something. All right? You have an unhealthy attachment to something. And you need to go within yourself and figure that one out. You may already know what it is. It could be an addiction. It could be obsessing. It could be just shadow work, healing. Some healing needs to be done because of this past in order for this beautiful love to come through. And you're going to have some communication. I don't care who says what. You're about to have some communication. So let's look at the six of uh, wands. Patience. You're going to go? You're going to go on um, 
some kind of adventure. You're going to come back. You're going to be victorious. Just be patient, okay? Be patient, and you will be grounded. You will have abundance. Patience again, okay? Whenever I see that, the universe is working on something. If you just relax, it's coming. It's coming. You hear me? It's coming. <laughs> Ooh. All right, Ace of Cups. New love, like I said, it's going to balance you. It's going to balance you, but don't forget to start healing there, okay? It's going to be good communication, clear. Your manifestations are coming through, your dreams, your wishes, you know, whether it's about money or love. And then on the two of wands here. Now you see, you got really got to have to do the shadow work where this past is concerned. Because I got the Seven of Swords. Come on. There we go. Over the Two of Wands. Now, the Two, the two of Wands tells me that you wanna go on a, um, you're thinking about going on a trip, you're possibly going on a vacation, you're dreaming, you're planning, but there's something about the seat here, deceit here something the moon makes me say uh, it's a lie something is not being seen clearly and it could be because of this love i mean this shadow work where this love is that could be that's what it is you need to go work on yourself a little bit okay because darling when you do this love will come in it will come in <laughs> at first you're not going to believe it and you're going to be all in your head you're going to be in your head and you're going to wonder what the heck is happening here you know what is happening here why are you in your head like this and then you're going to carry your burdens the ten of wands what burdens everything here looks good what is going on come on You're going to feel empty. You're going to be in your head. This is emotional. You see, at the same time, darling, you're the magician, okay? Right now, where love is concerned, it can happen. You just have to get out of that feeling of emptiness. That feeling of being in your head. Get out of your head. Love is on the horizon. It's coming. You just have to believe. And you shall see. I love you. Remember, we all have the gift within. Within. I love you. Thank you. <laughs>